When we use image views, SwiftUI knows to look in your app's asset catalog to find the artwork. And it even automatically adjusts the artwork so it loads the correct picture for the current screen resolution. That's the at 2x and at 3x stuff we looked at earlier. For other data, such as text files, we need to do more work. This also applies if you have specific formats such as XML or JSON. It takes the same amount of work regardless of what file types you're loading. When Xcode builds your iOS app, it creates something called a bundle. This happens on all of Apple's platforms, including macOS, and it allows the system to store all the files for a single app in one place. The binary code, which is the actual compiled stuff we wrote, all the artwork, any extra files we need, our info plist file, and more, all in one place. In the future, as your skills grow, you'll learn how you can actually include multiple bundles in a single app, allowing you to write things like Siri extensions, iMessage apps, watchOS apps, and more, all inside a single iOS app bundle called the main bundle. All this matters because it's common to want to look in a bundle for a file you place there. This uses a new data type called URL, which stores pretty much exactly what you think. A URL such as hackingwithsurf.com. However, URLs are a bit more powerful than just storing web addresses. They can also store the locations of files, which is why they're useful here. Let's start writing some code. If you want to read the URL for a file in our main app bundle, we use bundle.main.url. If the file exists, it'll be sent back to us. Otherwise, we'll get back nil. So this is an optional URL. That means we need to unwrap it like this. If let file URL equals bundle dot main dot url for resource some file with extension txt if that's found then we found the file in our bundle what's inside the url doesn't really matter because ios uses paths that are impossible to guess our app lives in its own sandbox and we shouldn't try to read outside of it once we have a url we can load it into a string with a special initializer string contents of we can give this a file URL, and it'll send back a string containing the contents of that file if it can be loaded. If it can't be loaded, it throws an error. So you need to call this using try or try question mark like this. If let file contents equals try question mark string contents of file URL, then we loaded the file into a string. Once you have the contents of the file, you can do with it whatever you want. It's just a regular string. 